Sometimes it became essential to compile textures exported from Substance Painter into a single file uh, from a model that has multiple shaders but a common UVW map. Uh, this occurs, for instance, when 3ds Max exports a model with multi subobject material. Uh, you may minimize the amount of files, save memory, and easily apply textures to the material by combining multiple textures into a single uh, common one. But since uh, Substance Painter doesn't allow you to export these textures directly, we will gather several texture maps into one using Photoshop. So, in our example, we have a model exported with UBW map from our 3D modeling program, in this case, in my example, it's 3D Max, and painted with Substance Painter. I'm not going to show the painting process because that's not the point of this tutorial. The multi sub object material is separated into distinct shaders upon model import into Substance Painter. However, UVW map stays common. In our example, we have got five shaders. As you can see, first is for main blue color, second is for chain, third for yellow elements, fourth for dark blue components, and fifth for the black sides. So, let's move forward to our main steps. Step 1. If we export textures from Substance Painter, we will receive texture sets, one for each shader. In my example, I obtained five texture files for every shader. It's base color, height, metallic, normal, and roughness. There are three important points in the export settings. First, the file format should be able to save the alpha channel. For example, it could be a PNG. Second, select the dilation and translucent format in padding. Third, in the dilation pixels, set the value to 1. Otherwise, a border edge will appear when the textures are combined. So now you can click Export. Step 2. Open Photoshop and stack texture maps of the same kind on top of one another. So let's start with the base color. Uh, select only base color textures and merge them to a common Photoshop file. This can be done either manually or using the built-in script, which is located under File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. Step 3. Set each layer's blending type to Linear Dodge. Step 4. Save the generated file in a format that is convenient for you. I choose JPEG for my example. Repeat steps 2 to 4 for the remaining textures for height, metallic and roughness. But for normal, you have to use the overlay as a blending type. So, in the fifth step, launch your 3D modeling software and create a material to which we may add our gathered textures. In my 3ds Max example, I use the physical material. But of course, you can choose any other based on your render engine or other preferences. And that's it. Our model has a single material for all polygons.